I'm Carol Moderman. My name is Jay Moderman. I grew up in Maryland. I was the seventh of eight children, and I did not grow up in a Christian home. My dad was an alcoholic. When I was 16, a lady came to our house. She worked with my dad, and she invited us to her church. My brother and sister went to that church, and they were saved. And they came home that afternoon, and they said to me, we were saved today. We accepted Jesus as our Savior. And I said, what, is, what does saved mean? And then they told me that Jesus died for their sins, and they had, they had asked Jesus into their heart. The next week, I went to that church, and I was convicted, and I was saved that day. Joppa Baptist Church was a small country church in Joppa, Maryland, and the people in that church were nurturing and very caring, and they kind of took us under their wing. My brother, sister, and I <coughs> were baptized in that church by immersion. Because my dad was an alcoholic, my home life was not very good, and it even became worse after my brother, sister, and I were saved. Jesus changed my life completely. I had a foul mouth that was gone. It was hard, it was hard. Growing, going back to my home life and being a Christian, but it was so wonderful to have that in my life. And then having a brother and sister that I could walk along with, and then meeting this wonderful church family who took care of us. Months later, we met a pastor and his wife who came to our church, and they ran a servicemen's Christian center. Eventually, we moved to Aberdeen, where the servicemen's Christian center was located. And when we moved to Aberdeen, we started going to the center, to the chapel. I grew up just north of here at Coopersville, Pub uh, Coopersville Schools and went to Coopersville Public. And my folks were, I feel, were good, uh, loving Christian uh, parents. And uh, we went to Sunday school and uh, church, and uh, my folks even made sure I went to a youth group. When I was a teenager, we went to the church, Reformed Church, and they had a uh, preaching, teaching, reaching uh, meetings. It was for a whole week. Uh, one day uh, during the week, um, I felt the Lord speaking to me. The Holy Spirit was, was convicting me of my sins, and later I met with the deacons of the church, and uh, they asked me some questions and so on. I was baptized as an infant. So um, after asking the, answering these questions, uh, I was a member of the church. Later I then went to, after finishing college, I went to and joined the Army. And uh, when I was in the Army, it was at Aberdeen Proving Grounds, and at the Proving Grounds, they had a, outside in the city, they had a uh, Serviceman Christian Center. And uh, I was invited by a friend to attend there. And uh, after attending there some time, I happened to be in a class where a friend was teaching, uh, and he was talking about that some people thought they were saved, weren't really saved. And uh, this, I started thinking about this, and I, I thought, what if I'm one of those people? What if I'm not really saved? And this started to really uh, set on my heart. And uh, I sought out the, the pastor, and uh, told him my dilemma, you know, that I was not really sure. Well, he said, um, that was easy to remedy. And I thought, well, how can that be easy to remedy? I hear I'm struggling with this. But he asked me if I, I uh, believed in Christ, and that I believed he died on the cross for my sins. He rose again and lives with the Father in heaven. And I told him, I said, yeah, I believe all these things. And he says, well, why don't you pray with me and ask the Lord to save you, which I did. So I was saved there at the center, and uh, uh, a short time afterwards, I was immersed by baptism. So I was um, sure of my salvation, and I was uh, a child of God. I, I think back of sometimes of, of, of I hear other people talk about <clears throat> their conversions. And I think, boy, mine's not that exciting. You know, I hear some people that are, are uh, 
really saved out of some, some bad areas or bad things in their life. Mm -hmm. And yet a person told me one time that uh, just because you were not saved out of the gutter does not mean that you weren't saved from the gutter. So who knows? Where I might have been, you know, have I not been saved? In 1969, I met a soldier named Jay Moderman, and we became good friends. He was an instructor, and I worked at, in Aberdeen. When I was saved in that small Baptist church, I met Christian couples and families, and they were very, very good to us, and they invited us into their homes. So I, for the first time, saw what it was like to be in a Christian family. Uh, my f family was very dysfunctional. So when I met Jay's family a few years later, I thought that's why Jay Moderman is such a nice young man is because the way he was raised and I wanted that for us. We had a few dates and then he left for Vietnam for a year. When he came back from Vietnam, we became engaged and we were married six months later. I left my job, my family and my home and moved to Michigan. Jay grew up in a Christian home and went to the Reformed Church, but we decided that we really wanted to find a Baptist church. So after Jay finished his schooling, we bought a house in Standale, and we started going to Standale Baptist, and we went there for 12 years. In 1978, we built a home in Allendale and moved there. In 1981, we joined Robinson Baptist Church in Glen Haven, and we were there for 42 years. So um, we just left there not too long ago, and it was it was hard. I don't know, I'm sure Carol would say the same thing, but we came here, we were invited to, uh, to the church, and the um, first time we came, right away, we felt welcomed. We felt, we felt that the Lord was here. We wanted to see what this church was really like. We saw that it was a Bible, Believing, Bible preaching, church, and uh, the, the very friendly people. Something we wanted, we wanted to be a, a part of. It was very, very hard to leave Robinson because we had so many friends there. Lisa Morgan invited us to Allendale Baptist. And we heard Pastor Green preach. The people were friendly and caring. And right away we knew this is the place for us. We love our small group. We've made many friends already. We've gone to the membership class and we're looking forward to being a part of Allendale Baptist. With the friends that we made here and, and uh, the welcomeness and the friendship that we, we really feel we believe we uh, belong here. We hope that uh, we could uh, contribute and uh, that uh, we can grow in friendships here. Jesus changes everything. Jesus changes everything.